Hey guys, this is Vishal. So today I'm going to talk about how to use subflow and synchronous flow in MuleSoft. Then we'll also see how we can call one flow from other flow using flow reference component. So let's get started. So I have taken this example from my previous tutorial of calling restful services in Mule. So if you haven't gone through this tutorial, I would request you to click on the description shown above so that you can have a better understanding of this tutorial. Now there are two flows given over here. One is add flight and the second one is a update flight. Inside add flight, it accepts new flight details to be added in JSON format and passes to the restful service. Before this HTTP RESTful service, there are two components declared. One is a set payload which is to hold JSON request and the second one is to create outbound property. Now I can put these two components into a separate flow and call at this place. So let's go to the mule palette and search for subflow and drag it at very below to this flow and rename my flow to sub to underscore one save it now i copy these two components from here paste it into my sub flow i rename the pro components d and payload as is set payload. Now let's delete these two components from add flight flow. So my subflow is created. Now the question is how I can make call to this subflow. So again go to your mule palette and search for the flow reference. Second one. Click on this and drag it in between these two HTTP connectors. Inside property, inside flow name, you should give your subflow name. So if I type sub, I'll sh it shows me the option. So I click on subflow, save it. So basically, I have captured these two components into a different subflow and using it at the same place by using flow reference. So the flow is created. So just to make sure our subflow is running, I just add a logger in that. So I click the logger and put payload. Inside message, I want to see like this is up flow one. I save it. So let's try and run this application. Started deploying my application. Alright, my application is deployed. So let's go to the postman and call the same add flight flow. Click on the send button. So it returns with response. Now if I can go to the console, you can see there is a message called this is subflow. What does it mean? That means that your subflow is getting caught. Now let's try to do the same thing with second flow called update flight. This time I'll show you the shortcut. Select the components which you want to wrap into a different flow. I click on it. Go to the extract tool. There are two options will be shown. One is a flow, second is a subflow. I click on subflow. It'll ask me to name my subflow. So I give it as a sub flow underscore two. I click on OK. So it will create new subflow for me if you go above here it will show me the subflow 
and inside update fly replaces the components using flow references if you open the property inside flow name it automatically takes which flow to call so the flow is created now let's add a logger For variable inside message I will say this is sub flow 2 all right flow is created now let's get started at my application Okay, so my application is deployed. Let's go to the postman and call the update flight this time. So I again click on send button. Now I got the response. So let's go to the console. I should see the subflow name. Right, as you can see here, it says this is subflow. That means the subflow is getting called on this update flight. So this is the example of using subflow in view. Now if you go above, there is a one more flow called get flights by ID which takes flight ID as URI parameter and pass it to the RESTful service. It assumes that flight ID will always be a numeric value. What if someone passes flight ID as a non-numeric value then that time is this flow will break. So what I want is that if someone passes a non-numeric value, it should return all flight details. That means it should call this get flights flow. And when I get the flight ID as a numeric value, it should return me the specific flight details. So I want to do some changes to this flow in order to do so. So let's go to your mule palette and search for the component for choice router. So it does allow me to execute a certain flow based on some condition. So I drag it before HTTP connector. Now I click on this HTTP connector and put it inside the choice router so that it makes another route. Inside default section, I'll use the flow reference component to call the get flight details flow. Select the flow reference and put it inside default section open the property inside flow name use the get flights name so I save it now I just want to add a logger to make sure it's in a default section so I use the logger put it after flow reference inside message I say something like inside on so, I save it, my flow is created, now if you click on the choice router, you can see there are two routes available, one is HTTP route and second is the flow reference route which is in default section. For the HTTP route, you can set up a condition when to execute. Now I want this to be executed when I get flight ID as a numeric value. So I write a mule expression at regex. It's a method inside mule. First parameter should be your regex pattern. Here I will mention it should be numeric. The second parameter is the value. So the flight ID is inside flow variable. So I use flow vars dot flight ID. All right. I created an expression. Let's go ahead and run this application. Alright, so my application is deployed. So let's go to the postman. Call the git flights ID with a flight ID as a numeric value first. So I click on send. I should get the specific flight ID details. 
I go to the body, I should see that it returns me the flight ID details. Now, what if I give some non numeric value? If I give something like test, it don't send button. This time I should get all flight details. Now, as you can see, it returns me the all flight details. Now, if I go to the console, I go above a bed. Here I can see the message inside default flow. That means it routes to this default section. So this way I can call the synchronous flow called get flights from the get flights by ID flow using flow reference component.